Welcome back to Talking Safety Lesson 4, Emergencies at Work. In this lesson, we'll define the term emergency, inform students about the types of emergencies that can occur on the job, and help students learn strategies for responding to emergencies at work through a board game, Disaster Blaster. For this lesson, you'll need a computer and projector with PowerPoint presentation slides 41 through 43, the Disaster Blaster game board, which are student handouts 10 and 11, a pair of scissors to cut the game cards, one die and two game pieces for each group of four students, and prizes such as candy, pencils, or stickers. Class, can anyone define the term job emergency? Something bad that happens unexpectedly? Almost. An emergency is any unplanned event that poses a threat. An emergency could threaten employees, customers, or the public. It might shut down work at a business, cause damage, or harm the environment. So a tornado would be an emergency, right? Yes. What are some other examples of emergencies that could happen at work? Um, violence. A chemical spill. Very good. Those are all emergencies. The best way to deal with an emergency is to be prepared. Wait. How do you prepare for something when you don't know what's going to happen? With practice, just like we have fire drills here at school. We've planned ahead and thought of the steps to take in the event that there is an emergency. Similar to school, when you start a new job, your employer should let you know about the kinds of emergencies that can happen and what should be done to remain safe. Since there are many different types of emergencies that could happen, we're going to play a board game that will help you learn what to do in certain emergencies. I want you to partner up with another classmate, then pick another team to play against. To begin, one team will roll the die and move the number of spaces shown. They should follow the instructions written on the spaces for moving around the game board. Whenever a team's game piece lands on a square with a question mark, the opposing team picks a disaster blaster card from the top of the deck and reads the question to the other team. What phone number should you call to report an emergency? Um, 911. Oh, mm -hmm. fair. That was easy. Gosh. Since they answered correctly, they roll again. Each team's turn ends after two questions, even if they answer correctly. If the answer is incorrect, the answering team's game piece remains on the square until their next turn. To win, a team must roll the exact number of spaces needed to land on the home space, and the team must also answer a question correctly. Name at least two things that should be in an emergency action plan. Um, the name of the person in charge. Oh, in escape routes. Yeah. It says name of the person who is in charge, escape routes, training, drills, alarm systems, and meeting place. So yeah, you got that right. <gasps> this concludes lesson four of six in the Talking Safety Training video series. In this lesson, we define the term emergency, inform students about the types of emergencies that can occur on the job, and help students learn strategies for responding to emergencies at work through a board game, Disaster Blaster. We hope you found this training informative. Thanks for watching. You can get more information on young workers' safety and health topics from any of these resources.